CAR T immunotherapy is um, it's a new uh, technology and uh, after a long journey of development, the technology become more and more mature. So especially in hematologic malignancy, then uh, certainly uh, still some controversial uh, in the area. And, uh, and today I uh, participated in a meeting and we discussed about the controversial issue regarding uh, after CAR-T treatment for treating the refractory relapse, the B-cell ALL patient, whether those patients still need to uh, go on for allogeneic bone marrow transplantation. So this is a still a controversial. And so today we just uh, discussed in the conference and uh, put together all uh, the data. And certainly the data in this field is still relative uh, limited. And uh, we actually, our center in China, we uh, uh, have done quite a lot of uh, CAR-T treatment under the clinical trial. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the day before yesterday, we celebrated uh, 700 cases of a CAR-T clinical trial in our single institute. So we were very happy about the results. Um, despite the initial very high uh, CR rate uh, from the CAR-T treatment for B-cell ALL patient, uh, still uh, quite a lot of um, uh, relapse is still the major challenge. Uh, so in uh, our data um, has been shown if we do uh, after a patient uh, received the CAR-T, uh, went in uh, to complete remission, then go on from, for consolidative allogeneic bone marrow transplantation, results uh, seems better than those people treated with uh, CAR-T alone. Uh, obviously, this is still controversial and uh, require a, 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 a randomized clinical trial to confirm it. Um, but uh, 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 certainly the results are quite exciting.